Celebrations for the greatest homecoming on earth continue and with the recent events of vandalism at AT, we're talking all things safety this morning. WFNY News 2's Taylor Leverett joins us live with the latest updates. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, I'm here with Police Chief Jermaine Cherry and we're talking all about safety again for homecoming this week. So Chief, walk us through how can students and staff stay safe this week? Thank you, Taylor. I hope you have a good day today. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I want you to know that this is that time of year where we all come together, mm -hmm. all Aggies to celebrate homecoming festivities. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of doing that, I would like to just kind of lay out some things to make sure that we have a successful homecoming experience. So first of all, I want everyone to expect a larger footprint of law enforcement in the area due to homecoming festivities. Okay. Also, they can expect a significant amount of road closures mm -hmm. as well. Okay. OK, and it's all for safety. Now, I want everyone to also be reminded of COVID-19 mm -hmm. and what the CDC recommends during this period of time, because we're going to have uh, an upwards of about 60,000 individuals to come to the campus. OK, so just kind of be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. We want our students and faculties and visitors to always be aware of their surroundings. Mm -hmm. We want them to also carry some form of identification on them, whether it be a driver's license, ID card, or even their Aggie One cards. We want them to be aware of any type of suspicious behaviors as they're moving about within the community, celebrating in those things. So we want you to have fun, but we want you to be aware. We want you to be vigilant. We want the students in particular to be aware of this game called Three Card Monty, which is a game of chance that is designed to separate you from your money. And we tell the students, you cannot win. So don't even bother to even play that game. And so, you know, those are just a few uh, safety tips that one uh, uh, should adhere to. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that if they do so, they will have a successful, fun homecoming experience. Perfect, perfect. So make sure to bring your ID. Mm -hmm. More police will be on campus during homecoming week. Yes. And then also be aware of your surroundings. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Be aware of your surroundings. We also have an app called the okay. Aggie Safe app through Safe Zone. It's a free app to the general public, to the students. And that app has so many great features. It's essentially like the blue light phone in the palm of your hand. Wow. And so they can utilize that phone to get a hold of law enforcement. Okay. Uh, they can utilize that phone to do check-ins with law enforcement. Okay. Uh, just, just a lot of university resources associated with that app. And it's literally in the palm of your hand. So everyone has cell phones yeah. nowadays. All they have to do is pull the app up and just look at the features and mm -hmm. just deploy whatever they need from the phone. Wow. And those resources are readily available. It's even, uh, we even have a well-being uh, button to that app. So mm -hmm. if someone is suffering from some form of mental illness, they okay. can press that button and get a hold of a university counselor or community resources like Real Crisis and those type of things. And so that's another great tool that we are absolutely pushing within the community. Perfect, great, great tips, uh, Chief Cherry. I'll send it back to you in the studio.